Hi and welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to practice air to air refueling in the F-16. So I've done this several times in the F-18 but I've never really done it in the F-16. So I'm going to give it a go. Uh, this is the instant mission in the uh, F-16 module. Uh, if you go into instant mission, select the F-16, go to Caucasus map and you'll find an air-to-air -air refueling practice session. So I'm here, I've got a F-16 on my wing. I'm lightly armed, I've got no air refueling tanks. I've got 3,500 pounds of fuel. So here we go, the tanker's in front of me. Um, just make sure I've got uh, my SRS connected. And we'll go F-6. And we'll go F1. Marco, one, one, Colt, one, one. Request rejoin. Colt, one, one, Arco, one, one. Proceed to pre-contact at 24,000. At two, seven, zero. So I'm at 23,280. Uh, barometric. So uh, let's see how I get on. The um, tanker's flying at 270 odd knots, um, so I'm flying at 400 here at the moment. Let's just put my uh, Hemix on. Yep, that's good. Right, so the procedure is very much the same as what it is in the F-18. Uh, we fly alongside it from the left. And then come into the rear of the uh, KC-135, about 100 yards, and then uh, ready pre-contact, which is F1 on the uh, comms menu. So here we go. I'm slowly gaining on the aircraft. There is a TACAN available, uh, TACAN 1. Uh, which is set. So if I go on here, Takam One is set. So I go one, enter, which is the frequency, and then uh, if we go Dobber, transmit, receive. Which is the only other thing I want is to ensure it is air to air so let me just check Takan well it's not quite telling me it's just, no it's not I don't think that's right personally but okay let's go sequence air to air right now the uh, now we've got it Right, so there's the air-to-air -air refueling tanker, KC-135 up there. It's uh, about two or three miles away. That's the Takan. Just switch that off. Right, as we're getting closer now. Saying I'm within seven miles, so I'm gonna uh, now open the refueling gauge. Here. Whoa, got here too fast. It's a bit silly. Right, okay, that was very silly. There you go, that's what happens when you are not concentrating on the air on the aircraft very similarly. I've avoided a mid-air. Right. That breaks in. Okay, there we are. OK, 
Okay, let's uh, start to uh, get closer in here. Okay, now underneath the tanker, I have to play this very carefully. Oscillating a bit here. So. Nice and easy, throttle. pre-contact in a minute. Now, nice and gentle I'm starting to gain here. Okay, nice and easy. Trim, trim, trim. Ah, I'm oscillating again. Okay. I'll try and do it with the trim, but I don't get very far, so uh, let's bring it up a bit slowly. So set nice and easy, nice and easy, throw back. Let's get back. Rejoin. 
Arco, 1-1. One, one. Colt, 1-1. One, one. Request rejoin. One one Arco one one proceed to pre contact at twenty four thousand at two seven zero. Okay. Here we go. Sixteen is so damn slippery. Ready, pre contact. Clear contact. Okay, here we go. has to be in the turn, doesn't it? I just need another thousand pounds and I'm done, so let's try this again. This time I'm in the turn.
oscillating again. Whoa! Damn it. Oscillating again. This is pilot induced oscillation. PIO. And it's when you're going constantly up and down, so it's best to come back and reattach. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Disconnecting. Close the fuel port. Adiel. Well, seven thousand two hundred pounds of fuel. All done. Again, not easy, very hard. It's probably one of the hardest things you'll ever do is uh, air to air refueling in the F-16 I think the F-18 a little bit easier I think with the basket but then I'm used to that I'm not used to the uh, the, the boom as they call it so that's going to take some getting used to in fairness um, but yeah but very challenging and very enjoyable when you get it done you know, it's taken two or three, well, three or four actual uh, goes here to get that boom in. But the nice thing is you're not having to continually communicate with the uh, with the tanker. If you lose it, just get back into position and, and the, uh, the operator just plugs back in. Uh, and when it's plugged in, it, it does happen relatively quickly because you've got a big fuel pump uh, pushing it in. Uh, the, the basket, is a little bit more or well, takes longer I think so there you go anyway thanks for watching goodbye